Wendy Rodriguez here. I am visiting with you from the historic Cabildo on Jackson Square in New Orleans. Um, there's a fabulous museum here, I hope you're aware. Um, it is run by the Louisiana State Museum System. And uh, they currently have an exhibition called Rodrigue Before the Blue Dog. It runs all the way through September of 2025. You know, it's interesting to me because when I do an exhibition, this is not my exhibition, it's not by the Life and Legacy Foundation, it is by the Louisiana State Museum System. And I always am, am very kind of um, adamant about including George's last self-portrait, which if you watch these videos, you're very familiar with it because I talk a lot about it. I also bring it always to schools. Part of the reason is because George is so intense in his last self-portrait, concentrating as he paints. Yet they chose not to include that here in Before the Blue Dog. Of course, that last self-portrait is long after the Blue Dog. They have instead included a self-portrait, well, a photograph, excuse me, kind of a self-portrait in a way, a photograph that for George himself was iconic. Um, looking at George in this, I would guess this was in the 1980s, early to mid 80s, but look, there is that intense look as he's painting. That very thing that I find so grasping in his last self-portrait. Here it is, captured in this photograph. So I think it's a wonderful choice and they've blown it up large as they have with other iconic Rodrigue photographs throughout this exhibition. A couple of things I would point out also, this right here, this is a sword. This would have been George's mall stick, mall stick, M-A-H-L, stick. Um, the way he would have used it is, you can see here, he is holding the sword, he is leaning it across his canvas, then he would put his hand, yes, across the sword, and he would paint. This is how he would paint the details, particularly faces, in his early paintings in particular, um, but later paintings also. He did the body series, for example, um, he did all of that with a mall stick, and that was throughout the 2000s. But anyway, here we're in the 80s, and it is holding his hand steady as he paints. Now, what's interesting is a mall stick is a, in a long tradition. It goes all the way back. There are pictures of artists um, as far back as there are pictures of artists using mall sticks. But in this case, Jars didn't use a stick at all. The way he told the story to me is that one day as a child, he was walking along the banks of the Bayou Teche in New Iberia, Louisiana, his hometown, and he saw something glistening down in the mud. <gasps> and he leaned down, and it was the hilt of a sword. And like Arthur in Excalibur, he pulled the sword out. And it was a Knights of Columbus sword. That's the way George told it to me anyway. And it became a small stick for the rest of his life life. And today, you can see that sword uh, in the Bayou Teche Museum in Iberia, because after George died, we had his whole studio dismantled, professionally of course, from our home in Carmel Valley, California, and shipped back across the country to his hometown of New Iberia, where it has been reconstructed in the Bayou Teche Museum, and where their, their expansion is actually about to double or more in size. So. Go check it out, but most important, uh, come visit the Cabildo and see Rodrigue before the blue.